We find ourselves in the thrilling conclusion of January 2024, a year poised to witness groundbreaking milestones for SpaceX in the vast realm of space exploration. And true to form, SpaceX is already shattering records, blazing a trail that leaves us eagerly anticipating what further triumphs lie ahead in the coming months. Just yesterday, SpaceX achieved a feat that no other company has dared to attempt. But hold on to your helmets because the excitement doesn't stop there. SpaceX is gearing up for yet another historic launch in collaboration with NASA scheduled for tomorrow, January 30th. How exactly is SpaceX revolutionizing the space industry, you ask? Well, buckle up as we embark on a journey to explore these remarkable accomplishments in today's thrilling episode of Great SpaceX. What a whirlwind day it was for the Falcon team. Yesterday, on January 28th, SpaceX orchestrated a flurry of activity, launching not one, but two batches of its Starlink Internet satellites, all within a span of just three hours. First up, a Falcon 9 rocket adorned with 23 Starlink spacecraft soared skyward from NASA's Kennedy Space Space Center in Florida at precisely 6.15 p.m. Eastern. As anticipated over the West Coast, the Falcon 9's first stage executed a flawless return to Earth in Florida, touching down on a SpaceX drone ship stationed at sea a mere eight and a half minutes after liftoff. Now that's what I call precision landing. What a resume B-1062 boasts. This booster has been on quite the journey, marking its 18th launch and landing from Kennedy Space Center and its 9th from Vandenberg. This puts her in a tie for first place with her Vandenberg counterpart B-1061 as the most seasoned boosters in active service. Unfortunately, this milestone comes in the wake of the loss of historic B-1058 after her 19th flight last month. B-1062 began her stellar career back in November of 2020, lifting the fourth Block 3 Global Positioning System, or GPS, 3-04 satellite for the U.S. Space Force. Since then, she's been a workhorse, notching up an impressive eight missions in 2022 alone. Talk about overachieving. B-1062's resume just keeps getting more impressive. In addition to her previous feats, she's also been responsible for launching a whopping 438 Starlink satellites across 10 missions. But wait, there's more. She's also played a crucial role in deploying a pair of geostationary bound communications satellites, Nilesat 301 for Egypt in June of 2022, and Arabsat 7B, or BADR 8, for Saudi Arabia in May of the same year. And let's not forget her contribution to global connectivity, with 40 broadband satellites for OneWeb based in London, England. Yesterday's launch was yet another feather in B1062's cap, as she flawlessly delivered 23 star satellites totaling a whopping 18,400 kilograms into orbit. Somebody's been hitting the gym. But B-1062 wasn't the only Falcon 9 making waves. Another one soared into action from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, carrying an additional 22 Starlink satellites into the skies at 9.16 p.m. Eastern. These launches mark the ninth successful mission of the year for SpaceX, which has boldly declared its intention to complete a staggering 144 orbital missions in 2024. With their track record, I wouldn't bet against them reaching that lofty goal. As SpaceX charges ahead with its ambitious agenda, another significant mission is on the horizon. A Falcon 9 is gearing up to launch Northrop Grumman's robot Cygnus cargo craft toward the International Space Station, set for Tuesday, January 30th. This mission represents a hefty collaboration, demanding considerable adjustments to the rocket itself rather than the spacecraft alone. It's a testament to the intricate dance of engineering and innovation required to push the boundaries of space exploration. NASA revealed during a briefing on January 26th that the NG-20 cargo mission launch from Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 40 is targeted for January 30th at 12.07 p.m. Eastern. This represents a one-day delay from previous plans, with NASA citing the need to accommodate launch pad readiness. If all goes as scheduled, Cygnus will make its way to the International Space Station by early February 1st. This launch marks a significant milestone as it's the first time Northrop Grumman's Cygnus cargo sp spacecraft will ride atop a Falcon 9 rocket. Historically, Cygnus missions have relied on Northrop's own and Terrace launch vehicle, with only two exceptions when missions were launched on United Launch Alliance's Atlas V, 
after an Antares failure in 2014. Looking ahead, Northrop has ambitious plans aiming to conduct at least three Cygnus missions aboard Falcon 9 rockets as they collaborate with Firefly Aerospace on an updated version of the Antares. This new iteration, the Antares 330, is set to debut as early as mid-2025, featuring a revamped first stage developed by Firefly using its own engines. The transition to the Falcon 9 has been remarkably smooth for Northrop Grumman, according to Cyrus Dalla, Vice President and General Manager of Tactical Space Systems at Northrop Grumman, there were minimal modifications required for the Cygnus spacecraft itself. However, the company did need to make slight adjustments adjustments to the cargo loading process, mainly due to utilizing a new facility with different equipment. Despite the change in launch vehicles, Dalla emphasized that the capabilities of the Cygnus remain unchanged. For the NG-20 mission, the payload capacity remains consistent at just over 3,700 kilograms. On the SpaceX side of things, adapting to accommodate the Cygnus was a bit more involved. Specifically, SpaceX needed to address the Cygnus's requirements for late load cargo, loading within 24 hours of launch. Unlike the Antares, which features a pop-top opening in its payload fairing, allowing for access to the Cygnus inside, the Falcon 9 required a different solution. To provide a similar late load capability, SpaceX developed what Bill Gerstenmeier, Vice President of Build and Flight Reliability at SpaceX, referred to as a Giga Door in the fairing of the Falcon 9. This door, measuring 1.5 by 1.2 meters, can be opened to provide environmentally controlled access to the Cygnus inside. Gerstenmeier noted that this modification was a significant undertaking for SpaceX, especially considering that their own Dragon spacecraft launches without a fairing. However, he assured that integrating the door into the payload fairing does not impact SpaceX's ability to recover and reuse it. Dalla expressed gratitude for SpaceX's collaboration in accommodating the flow of cargo and integration, highlighting the reuse of existing procedures. It's clear that both Northrop Grumman and SpaceX have worked closely together to ensure a seamless transition and successful missions ahead. In addition to the innovative payload fairing door for Cygnus launches, SpaceX has been hard at work testing modifications to its transporter erector at Launch Complex 39A. These modifications are crucial for enabling the loading of liquid methane and oxygen propellants. Why the need for such changes? Well, it's all in preparation for the highly anticipated launch of the IM-1 Lunar Lander by Intuitive Machines. This lunar lander will be fueled directly onto the pad, tucked away inside the payload fairing just moments before liftoff. Gerstenmeier provided insight into SpaceX's progress with testing the equipment needed for the IM-1 launch, currently slated for mid-February. He expressed confidence that the work is proceeding smoothly, emphasizing SpaceX's commitment to innovative solutions. As evidenced by their approach to the NG-20 mission, SpaceX thrives on pushing boundaries and thinking outside the box. Dalla shed light on Cygnus' mission timeline, noting that it will remain docked at the International Space Station for approximately six months. During this period, Cygnus may be tasked with boosting the space station back to its optimal altitude as it gradually descends due to atmospheric drag. However, Cygnus' role doesn't end there. Once its time at the ISS concludes, it will embark on a crucial mission, disposing of trash and waste by undergoing a fiery re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Dalla emphasized the significance of this function, highlighting Cygnus' versatility as a platform for both resupply missions and safe waste disposal. Amidst all the excitement, SpaceX is also in the midst of supporting the private astronaut mission, Axe 3, currently halfway through its two-week stay aboard the ISS. Led by Michael Lopez Alegria, the four astronauts are gearing up to board their Dragon spacecraft and make their return to Earth this weekend, weather permitting. With a staggering 10 launches planned in a single calendar month, SpaceX is edging closer to its ambitious goal of achieving up to 144 flights before the next New Year's Eve. For context, the record-breaking year of 2023 witnessed 96 launches, averaging a mission approximately every every 3.8 days. However, with the current flight rate hovering around a mission every 3.1 days, SpaceX is on track to surpass previous achievements. If we extrapolate this trend, aiming for 9 or 10 launches per month throughout 2024 positions SpaceX favorably to reach between 108 and 120 missions this year. But as history has shown, SpaceX's capability for pushing the boundaries knows no bounds. In 2022, monthly launch rates skyrocketed from six flights in April to seven by December. 
Similarly, in 2023, we saw further increases, with eight missions in March and nine since August. The pace at which SpaceX continues to innovate and elevate its launch cadence is truly remarkable. As we look ahead to the remainder of 2024, it's anyone's guess how far they'll push the envelope. One thing's for certain, though, with SpaceX at the helm, the sky's not the limit, it's just the beginning. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.